Hi guys welcome back to our channel fact box. Have you ever wondered how did the moon form? There used to be a number of theories about how the moon was made and it was one of the aims of the Apollo program to figure out how we got to have our moon. Prior to the Apollo mission research there were three theories about how the moon formed. Capture theory suggests that the moon was a wandering body that formed elsewhere in the solar system and was captured by Earth's gravity as it passed nearby. In contrast, accretion theory suggested that the moon was created along with Earth at its formation. Finally, according to the fission scenario, Earth had been spinning so fast that some material broke away and began to orbit the planet. What is most widely accepted today is the giant impact theory. It proposes that the moon formed during a collision between the Earth and another small planet, about the size of Mars. The debris from this impact collected in an orbit around Earth to form the moon. Apollo Mission Evidence The Apollo missions brought back over a third of a ton of rock and soil from the moon. When the Apollo rocks came back, they showed that the Earth and the moon have some remarkable chemical and isotopic similarities, suggesting that they have a linked history. If the moon had been created elsewhere and was captured by the Earth's gravity we would expect its composition to be very different from the Earth's. If the moon was created at the same time, or broke off the Earth, then we would expect the type and proportion of minerals on the moon to be the same as on Earth. But they are slightly different. The minerals on the moon contain less water than similar terrestrial rocks. The moon is rich in material that forms quickly at a high temperature. The giant impact model suggests that at some point in Earth's very early history, these two bodies collided. During this massive collision, nearly all of Earth and Thea melted and reformed as one body, with a small part of the new mass spinning off to become the moon as we know it. Scientists have experimented with modeling the impact, changing the size of Thea to test what happens at different sizes and impact angles, trying to get the nearest possible match. People are now tending to gravitate towards the idea that early Earth and Thea were made of almost exactly the same materials to begin with. As they were within the same neighborhood as the solar system was forming. If you like this video like share and subscribe.